Australia is urging its businesses and companies to think innovatively when considering China. That is because China is in the midst of shifting from an economy that relies on manufacturing to one that encourages innovation. Economists say that shift is opening up a world of possibilities for quick-thinking entrepreneurs from down under. Greg Navarro has more. The key to Jess Wilson's success came from an observation about the way she and other 20-something-year-old consumers were being treated. I found that millennials weren't being spoken to in the right way when it came to shopping on your mobile. So it was something that I personally wanted. So the Sydney entrepreneur created Stashed, an online shopping mobile phone app aimed at meeting the needs of people her age. And once she combined her ability to spot trends with a tech-savvy co-founder, she set her sights overseas. We picked China because we knew that we had access to a lot of Western brands that people in China, especially the millennial market, would like access to. And there's the whole rise in the middle class in China, especially millennials who are wanting to shop those Western brands. Rising middle class are people who buy something today and something else tomorrow. Uh, and, and consumer behavior will change. So you have to be very quick. Uh, and you have to be in high tech in order to be to be able to adjust to this constant change. We've got time for I think one probably one more question. That was the message at a business forum in Sydney, which focused on China's commitment to becoming a global powerhouse in innovation and technology. They have seen that there is very little future in the longer run uh, in labour intensive and and low labour manufacturing because there are too many other competitors coming. The forum, which included government and business leaders, also explored how Australian businesses can take advantage of that economic shift and China's growing middle-class consumers. It's clear that innovation has to be the centre of not necessarily everything, but a big part of your strategic thought and consideration. Experts say all of this points to the fact that for Australian tech-based companies, now is the time to take a good hard look at China and the rapidly expanding market especially considering the increasing competition from other countries. We just can see a problem there and we think we can provide a solution there. And that's just what the 24-year-old is doing by targeting a growing market of young consumers that Wilson says no one really bothered to pay enough attention to before. Greg Navarro, CCTV, Sydney.